the Sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Hennison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. Without warning. I can't blame my skipper, Admiral. The ocean was calm. There was no reason to expect a sudden squall would hit us. If we hadn't been on deck or found that life raft, I don't know what would have happened. Oh, you were lucky. Now, ju just what was this project you were working on, Dr. Hayes? Something of great significance. The life cycle of plankton is what is reported here. That's a press release to cover the true nature of my work. Only Miss Simmons and I know the truth. And now I'd like you to know, because I need you. I need you to help me rescue the most incredible scientific discovery in history. Engineering section reports full complement. Good. How close are we to a full crew now? Five men short, all on shore leave. No essential crew members missing. Mm -hmm. How soon can we get underway? Any time you give the order. I'll just stand by until the Admiral arrives with his passengers. All right, sir. Lee, what's going on? We weren't supposed to put out to sea for another five days. Well, I don't know much more about it than you do, Chip. The Admiral alerted me and said we were going to take a couple of scientists out to where they lost their ship. Oh, sure. That story that was all papers must be a big deal. Oh, big enough for the Admiral to change our sailing orders. You better set your special sea detail. All right, sir. Sunk. We'll be there in 16 hours. Right. Chip. He's on course. Take it down to 90 feet and run it back. All right, sir. Prepare to dive. Prepare to dive. Close all main ballast tank vents. Stand by to blow tanks. Ballast tanks full. Close the vent. Flood negative. Full dive in the flames. Full dive. Secure the air. All green. All green. Dive. All dive. Full trim. Very well. Steady she goes. Right. I'm going to see Dr. Ames. Admiral? Um, do you, uh, do you really believe that story of his? Well, don't you? He said his ship was sunk by a squall. Now, I had Sparks contact three ships who were in the area, and no one reported so much as a ripple. Cat must have brought along enough junk for a world cruise. Hurry up, Ski, will you? Oh, why don't you drop him, Riley? Good idea. Oh, no. Give me a hand, will you? Look at the papers this guy carries around with him. Yeah, no wonder I was breaking my back. I thought this Ames character was a scientist. He sounds more like a clown. Come on, let's get this gear stored, will you? Hey, wait a minute. I want to finish this. Look, if you get caught reading his private papers, you'll be finished, buddy. Hey, listen to this. You know what this says? How would I know? Come on. You know that dream you brought on board? By the secretary? Well, this paper... <laughs> this paper says she's over 200 years old. 
Sure. And I'm Secretary of the Navy. I swear, Stu, it's the truth. Listen. Living proof of the power of the Vita synthesis. The which? I don't know, some kind of drug or something. Now listen. Although Carol Simmons has the face, body, and tissue tone of a healthy 20-year-old female. He can say that again. She is, in reality, over 200 years old. There it is. <laughs> You're right. He is a comic. Hilarious. <laughs> Furthermore, she will retain her present physical state indefinitely if she receives a constant supply of the vital synthesis. However, if the supply is diminished or cut off, rapid physical deterioration will result with consequent aging at an incredibly accelerated pace. I dare you to try and report this to the skipper. <laughs> oh, not me. I don't want to wind up in a psycho ward. Yeah, I know what you mean. That little chick, 200 years old. Man. I'd sure like to get another look at her. Yeah. Personally, I always liked older women. The ship's safe is here. It contains the detailed formulas and process records. But the actual samples of my discovery are located in this compartment. Now, this sketch will save time. Time, Admiral, is of the utmost importance. No, no, I know, I know. This discovery cannot be lost. As I told you, vitasynthesis is an essence of the sea, a fluid that arrests the aging process in man, keeps him young, vital, useful, for 200 years or more. But there's one thing I didn't tell you. Vitasynthesis can literally restore youth. That's an old dream, Doctor. Ponce de Leon, the fountain of youth, all that. You don't understand, Admiral. It's not a dream. It's a reality. And that's why we must recover those notes and samples. And if we can't? We must. The work could never be duplicated. Much of the formula was prepared by my colleagues. Brilliant men whose knowledge died with them. We'll do our best. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, you never explained in detail about that squall that signed your ship. There's nothing to explain. It came up suddenly. Blew itself out shortly. Oh, I thought it must have been something like that. Those uh, line squalls can be pretty tricky. Simmons? Put it by the door and I'll get it later. But we did that with your dinner, miss, and you didn't touch it. Aren't you hungry? I'll take it. What do you think, Ski? Uh, she's way out, all right. But it's none of our business. No? Then how come you talked the mess to her and letting us bring the breakfast tray? Come on, come on, man. Are you hungry, Carol? Try to eat something and make it some sleep. Sleep? There'll be plenty of time for that later. I'm sorry. Aren't we ever going to get there? It's only a matter of hours. Everything will be all right. How can you be so sure? You should have told Admiral Nelson what really happened. No. He might have refused to risk a submarine. We did the right thing. I hope so. Lee, we got a problem at the sonar station. Yeah, we've got one here, too. Look the way these readings fluctuate. That's the same reaction we're getting over there. Going 
Come to Dead Slow. Dead Slow? How far are we from the wreck? About a half an hour. But Sonar's been acting up. You said we were a half hour away. That's not Ames' ship. We've been passing these wrecks for ten minutes. It's a graveyard of sunken ships. Look, there's another one. We've uh, seen sunken ships before. But not so many together, without explanation. Stone deposit. Could be. Engine room to control. Malfunction has corrected itself. Same here, Skipper. Well, whatever it is, we pass beyond it. Apparently. You don't quite buy the uh, lodestone idea. Well, it's, it's logical enough, but there's just one thing. Yeah, I know, I know. Lodestone doesn't sink ships. You sent for me, Admiral. I did. We're getting close to your sunken ship. Excellent. Order your underwater specialist into scuba gear now. No time to waste. This is Sonar. Large metal object dead ahead. My ship, look! Come about in a 240 degree turn. I want to come up in the bar quarter. Why aren't we stopping? Captain Crane is holding off. He wants to know, as I do, what really sank your ship? If I told you the truth, there might have been delays. You might have even refused to come. I'll tell you what really happened later. Right now, there's no time to be wasted getting to the Vita Synthesis. Skipper, large object approaching dead ahead. Collision course! Emergency station. Activate crash doors. Aye, sir. Ships. What is that thing? What 
Whatever it is, it produces electrical shock waves. No, miss. Damage control reports minor hull damage. Our electrical gear shot and force field is no longer operational. How soon can we get out of here? 20 minutes. What do you mean, get out of here? Just that, Doctor. We have to get back to port to make repairs. Not without getting the Vita synthesis. Well, if Ames is rightly, it, uh, it might be worth a try. We're in no shape for another attack. Chip, try to make it 10 minutes. All right. With minor repairs, we might be able to get back within a week. A week? Everything would be ruined. You brought it on yourself, Doctor. It's my fault and it's done. But I beg you. Give me an hour and the men I need to get to that wreck. I'm sorry, Doctor. Captain Crane has given orders that we leave in ten minutes. You can't, Adam. You must do something. Do you hear? Do something. I will. Then do it. Don't waste time talking. We have no time. <laughs> Major overhaul. Yes, sir. Well, scratch one sonar unit. Three hundred and sixty degrees sweep. That thing out there may decide to pay us another visit. 
Engine room to control. Temporary repairs completed. We can give you one quarter power. Affirmative. Give me slow astern and rig for silent running. Back her off a thousand yards, then turn and make a run for it. Aye, aye, sir. This is the captain. The mission's aborted. We're returning to Santa Barbara. We're returning to Santa Barbara. The mission's aborted. <laughs> Cut engines in 30 seconds. Then full aft on starboard, full ahead on port. I want as quick a turn as we can get. Skipper, this is Missile Room Watch. Go ahead, Missile Room. Dr. Ames is down here. He took a wetsuit and I tried to stop him, but he knocked me out. Now he's disappeared. I'll send a relief right down. When he gets there, lay up to sick bay. Aye, aye, sir. Skipper. All stop. All stop. Who's that? Ames, of course. I'll say one thing, he's got guts. This is the captain. Get the diving party out. I want Ames back aboard at once. Aye, sir. Admiral, can you come down to the control room? Dr. Ames is on the outside. Yes, Lee, I'll be right there. Get at him there. Neither can we. Diving party, return to see you at once. Torpedo, the concussion would kill him. How about using the Sevio as bait to draw that thing away? Now that I reduce speed, it would spot the motion and be on us in a flash. The flying sub? <laughs> Missile room, prepare the torpedo for firing and stand by for instructions. Aye, sir. Chip, I'm going to take the flying sub out. Get it ready. Aye. Uh, Sir. Very well. She's all yours, sir. That 
was fast. You said two minutes. Good luck. Stand by to launch flying sub. Crane to see view. Do you read me? Crane to see view. Crane to see view. Do you read me? Loud and clear. I'll get as close to the thing as I can before it sees me. Then I'll pour on the coal and make a close pass. Well, not too close. In spite of his size, he's, he's very fast. Closer. Yeah, well, watch it, watch it. Sir. Are you all right, Lee? See you the flying sub. Come in. Sir. Lee, are you all right? See you the flying sub. Come in. Uh, I'm all right, Admiral. Good. But don't make any unnecessary sounds. That thing is right on top of you. <laughs> I'm not planning on leaving. But the only thing left working is a radio. Admiral, the, uh, the batteries are generating gas. In another ten minutes, I won't be able to breathe this air. Well, get into scuba gear. That might hold you until we can do something about it. Ames. Send him to my lab as soon as he comes aboard. Roger. What is with this weirdo Ames? First he's got the skipper hung up, and now he's out for a swim. I don't know any more about it than you do. 
I'll tell you one thing, Stan. That Dane's behind it all some way. The Dane? How do you figure that? She won't even come out of her cabin. That's another thing. A pretty girl like that doesn't shut herself up in a dark room for no good reason. Maybe she's shy. Oh, come on. Nobody who looks like that chick is shy. No, no, no. It's, it's something else. I'd sure like to know what. I thought you said it was none of our business. Well, that's, uh, so I changed my mind. Well, if anything happens to the skipper, man, it's everybody's business. See you now. What I did was my own idea. I make no apologies to the Admiral nor anyone else. And what kind of a fool stunt was that? I've got to rescue the samples and records from my ship. I'm the only one who can decipher those records. Well, thanks to you, Crane is trapped out there. I'm indispensable. Captain Crane is not. As far as I'm concerned, the attention of every man on this ship will be concentrated on saving Captain Crane. Is that clear? It's unfortunate, Admiral, we don't share the same sense of values. as long as you can. We're working on something, but it may take a little time. Look, uh, try blowing the depth tanks. The added pressure may give you some breathing space. Why did you come? You're too late. No. We still have time. Do we, Grand? Open the door. Can you still say it, Grand? The virus synthesis will make you young again. Then bring it to me. Bring it to me. I promise. I know a way. size variation of the one that's threatening the flying sub. I like this size better. Well, don't underrate this one. Even he can knock him out unconscious. Let's hope he can tell us what we need to know. Mr. Morton, prepare to activate the parabolic reflecting antenna. Aye, sir. I intend to use that as a mirror to reflect his own electrical discharges back on himself, magnified in intensity. You think that'll work, sir? It better. Patterson, 
Yes, sir. We're going to try to drive off the man of war and get to the skipper. Once he's back aboard, we'll fire the torpedo, but not before. The concussion would kill him. Aye, sir. <laughs> Right idea. I'll do as I say, and perhaps you'll stay alive. Turn around. Now run the torpedo into the firing tube. The torpedo stays where it is until the skipper's back on board. I'd advise you to do as I say. few seconds, so stand by. Get as close as we can. The escape hatch is jammed. Nelson, this is Ames. I'm locked in the missile room. There's a torpedo in the number one tube. I can fire it, but aiming it is up to you. Switch to intercom. If you fire that torpedo, Crane will be killed. I told you once, Crane is expendable. Now, this is your choice, Admiral. Either you do as I say, or I'll destroy the sea view and everyone in it. You're bluffing. You can't do a thing. I've opened the warhead of another torpedo. The timer on it is set and running. You have exactly 10 minutes to destroy the man of war. Ames, listen to me. You have 10 minutes. Sir, I'll get some men and we'll bash in the door and rush Ames. You'll have to use a torch on that door, Chip. Take at least half an hour. We've only got 10 minutes. Let's make the most of it. Riley. Blow tanks, all ahead full, everything we've got. Aye, yes. Kowalski, you handle the parabolic map. Right, sir. Keep it trimmed on that man of war, Chip. If we miss this, we may not have another chance. Patch in the flanks up. Lee, don't bother to acknowledge. We're moving in.
ready to come out. Antennas burn out. Lee, it's been driven off. Now's your chance. room hatch, not the missile room. Ames is there, armed and dangerous. Disobeyed me, Nelson, but I'm grateful. Crane's in his scuba gear. He can get to my ship and bring back my discovery. Lee, don't listen to him. There's a chance he'll make it. If he stays here, there's no chance for anybody at all. Admiral, the time is set, and he's got a gun on me. I don't have much choice. You have no choice. Lee, leave him alone, Admiral. If he gets back in time, I'll shut off the torpedo. You can't let Lee go out there. There's no way to break in the door in time. What if we fired a gas grenade through the ventilator? It'd knock him out, and we could send a man through the ventilator to disarm the torpedo. It's the only chance we've got now. Master at Arms, this is Nelson. Well, Captain. Look. It's attacking. Don't go out. Engine room, full of stern, evasive action, emergency. Never mind what Nelson's doing. You get to my ship or you die now. Hard right ready. Aye, 
sir. Oh, it's no use, sir. We don't have enough speed. Brace yourselves. Killed it. We took quite a beating, but I think we can make it back to port if we don't delay. Now, now, get changed, Lee. Can we still get to my ship? I said no delay. It's value to the world, to humanity. Sir, Miss Simmons wants to see Dr. Ames. It's urgent. What's the matter with you? Nothing. It's too late. It doesn't matter anymore. What's too late? Carol. She was my guinea pig. I created her. But I made one mistake. I fell in love with her. Why did you come? You're too late. No. We still have time. Do we, Grant? Open the door. Can you still say it, Grant? The virus synthesis will make you young again. Then bring it to me. Bring it to me. I promise. I know a way.
normal size variation of the one that's threatening the flying sub. Torpedo killed it. We took quite a beating, but I think we can make it back to port if we don't delay. Now, now, get changed, Lee. Can we still get to my ship? I said no delay. Could be passing over a lodestone deposit. Could be. Engine room to control. Malfunction has corrected itself. Same here, Skipper. Well, whatever it is, we pass beyond it. Apparently. You don't quite buy the uh, lodestone idea. Well, it's it's logical enough, but there's just one thing. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Lodestone doesn't sink ships. You sent for me, Admiral. I did. We're getting close to your sunken ship. Excellent. Order your underwater specialist in scuba gear now. No time to waste. This is sonar. Large metal object dead ahead. My ship, look! Come about a 240 degree turn. I want to come up in the bow quarter. Synthesis. Captain Crane. He's given orders that we leave in ten minutes. You can't let him. You must do something. Do you hear? Do something. I will. Then do it. Don't waste time talking. We have no time. <laughs> Sonar's been acting up. You said we were a half hour away. 
That's not Ames's ship. We've been passing these wrecks for ten minutes. It's a graveyard of sunken ships. Look, there's another one. We've uh, seen sunken ships before. But not so many together, without explanation. but I think we can make it back to port if we don't delay. Now, then, I'll get changed, lady. Can we still get to my ship? I said no delay. It's value to the world, to humanity. Sir, Miss Simmons wants to see Dr. Ames. It's urgent. What's the matter with you? Nothing. It's too late. It doesn't matter anymore. What's too late? Carol. She was my guinea pig. Lee, what's going on? We weren't supposed to put out to sea for another five days. Well, I don't know much more about it than you did, Chip. The Admiral alerted me and said we were going to take a couple of scientists out to where they lost their ship. Oh, sure. That story that was all papers must be a big deal. Mm -hmm. Big enough for the Admiral to change our sailing orders. You better set your special sea detail. All right, sir. Sunk. We'll be there in 16 hours. Thanks. Right. Chip. Here's our course. Take it down to 90 feet and run it back. All right, sir. Prepare to dive. Prepare to dive. Close all main ballast tank vents. Stand by to blow tanks. Ballast tanks full. Close the vent. Flood negative. Full dive in the planes. Full dive. Secure the air. All green. All green. Dive, all dive.
It can't get at them there. Neither can we. Diving party, return to see you at once. It produces electrical shockwaves. No, miss. Damage control reports minor hull damage. Our electrical gear shot and force field is no longer operational. How soon can we get out of here? Well, scratch one sonar unit. Give me a 360-degree sweep. That thing out there may decide to pay us another visit. Engine room to control. Temporary repair. It would spot the motion and be on us in a flash. The flying sub? <laughs> Missile room. Prepare the torpedo for firing. And stand by for instructions. Aye, sir. Chip, I'm going to take the flying sub out. Get it ready. Uh,
Crane to see you. Do you read me? Crane to see you. Crane to see you. Do you read me? Do you read me? Loud and clear. I'll get as close to the thing as I can before it sees me. Then I'll pour on the coal and make a close pass. Well, not too close. In spite of his size, he's, he's very fast. over a lodestone deposit. Could be. Engine room to control. Malfunction has corrected itself. Same here, Skipper. Well, whatever it is, we pass beyond it. Apparently. You don't quite buy the uh, lodestone now. Well, it's, it's logical enough, but there's just one thing. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Lodestone doesn't sit. Yeah, no wonder I was breaking my back. Yeah, I thought this Ames character was a scientist. <laughs> he sounds more like a clown. Come on, let's get this gear store, will you? Hey, wait a minute. I want to finish this. Look, if you get caught reading his private papers, you'll be finished, buddy. Hey, listen, listen. You know what this says? How would I know? Come on. You know that dream you brought on board? By the secretary? Well, this paper... <laughs> This paper says she's over 200 years old. <laughs> sure. And I'm Secretary of the Navy. I swear, Stu, it's the truth. Listen. <laughs> Living proof of the power of the Vita Synthesis. The which? I don't know, some kind of drug or something. But listen. Although Carol Simmons has the face, body, and tissue tone of a healthy 20-year-old female. He can say that again. She is, in reality, over 200 years old. There it is. <laughs> You're right. He is a comic. Hilarious. <laughs> Furthermore, she will retain her present physical state indefinitely if she receives a constant supply of the vital synthesis. However, if the supply is diminished or cut off, rapid physical deterioration will result with consequent aging at an incredibly accelerated pace. I dare you to try and report this to the skipper. <laughs> oh, not me. 